Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boys, Frogan Reactions here. My name is Logan. My name is Francesco. And in today's video, we are going to recap it. All this past week's games, there was a lot of action for Toronto yes. Maple Leafs. Game 35, 36, and 37. So, Even our first shout-out of the season, or shoot-out of the season. So, let's get right, let's into, get the right into the video. Here we go. Recapping game 35, so yes. it was a next gen game for the Maple Leafs, next generation. So let's get right into the game. Josh Archibald gets the goal, early goal here. Uh, Russell and Kiar gets assist, and that making the score one nothing. Edmonton. Then Mitch Marner gets on the scoreboard for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hyman and Hall picking up assists, making the score one one Toronto. Austin Matthews picks up a goal. Assist coming from Marner and Hall, making the score 2-1 Toronto. Then in the second period, no goals. In the third period, Kyle Torres picks up a goal. Assist coming from Adam Larson and Ryan Nugent Hawkins, making the score 2-2 and going into overtime. Then Darnell Nurse puts it in. Assist coming from no other than McDavid and Dreisaitl, and making the score 3-2 Edmonton, and that's how the game would end, 3-2 final. Let's go over some stats. Oilers, 23 shots on goal over the Leafs, uh, 31 shots on goal. Both teams 0-1 on the power play, two penalty minutes each. Oilers, 33 hits, Leafs, 22 hits, 8 blocks for the Oilers, and 12 blocks for the Leafs. So... It was, it was a well-fought game, uh, but uh, unfortunately 17 seconds into overtime, Nurse scores. But it, it was, uh, we won a game, they won a game, oh well. Next game in Winnipeg. This is great. What an what? action. Yes, this was a very good game. Uh, so let's take a look at the goals. Though. Okay, so Austin Matthews picks up a goal. Assist coming from Hyman and Marner. He really hasn't slowed down. Austin Matthews picking up where he left off. Zach Hyman getting a goal here. Making the score 2-0 Toronto. Assist coming from Matthews and Marner. Then in the second period, Alexander Kerflip pulls a beauty shorthanded goal. Assisted by McKay and Riley. And making the score 3-0 Toronto. But then... Josh Morrissey breaks the shutout, assisted by Shifley and Connor on a power play. So, not what you like to see. Uh, third period, no goals, and that's the game. 3-1 Toronto. Stats. Assist and stats. 26 shots on goal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 27 shots on goal for the Jets. 0 for 5 on the power play was the Toronto Maple Leafs. Really they are really struggling. With and the they were play. 1 for 4 on the power play. 10 minute penalty minutes and eight penalty minutes for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 27 hits for the Jets, 14 hits for the Maple Leafs, 17 blocks for the Leafs, 11 blocks for the Jets, and that would be your score, 3-1 Toronto. Still, still coming out with the W, That's but great. unfortunately our power play is not doing great, it's still struggling. Hopefully we can fix that up sooner or later. Okay, then, this, this was an this, exciting game. It, yeah, this was like getting my heart beaten in the overtime, but let's go over these, this game. Right so, now. first period, no goals. Second period, Travis Dermott uh, scoring his second of the season, uh, making it 1-0 Toronto, assisted by Spezza and Bogosian. 
But then Andrew Kopp ties it 1-1, assisted by Lowry and Appleton. And then third period, no goals, no goals. Uh, Overtime, no goals. No goals. Okay, going so, to the first shutout of the Maple Leaf shootout. season. Now this 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 is amazing, man. This was an amazing shootout right here. Mm -hmm. So first up, Kyle Connor gets in, going in on Campbell. Campbell makes the save. What you like to see? Jason Spezza on Cal Connor Hallibuck, moving in. Absolute beauty of a goal, deeks the pants out of Connor Halibut and scores one, Taps makes a score right next to the post. One nothing in the shootout. Okay, Pierre Luc Dubois is next. Oh my god, this guy has been on a tear lately for the Winnipeg Jets. Let's see what he can do. Moving in on Campbell, can't get it past Campbell. Campbell, man, is the most amazing goaltender in the shootout so far. Then Austin Matthews missed the chance to close the game. And then Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley goes in on Jack Campbell. Moving slow. Stops. Shoots. Jack Campbell Make misses. The save. That makes the save. For the, sh for the shootout win for Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell being the best in net. Picking First up, star of the game. Picking up. The important two points yes. for the Toronto Maple Leafs, making the score 2-1 Toronto. Now let's let's over see some, some stats. stats. Leafs 38 shots on goal, or the Jets 32 shots on goal. We were sadly 0 for 3 on the power play. They were 0 for 2, 4 penalty minutes for the Leafs, 6 penalty minutes for the Jets, 17 hits to the Leafs, 38 hits for the Jets, that's quite a bit, and 17 blocks for the Leafs, 11 blocks for the Jets. So. This, uh, I would say the refs were a bit asleep in the beginning of the game. Yeah. They were a, there were a lot of penalties that weren't being called here. So, I I don't know. They were kind of out to lunch, this game. But so, that's okay. But it's okay because uh, at least whether we, we get a power play or not, for some reason we seem to not score. So, what makes a difference? So, the Leafs pick up the important two points and does good this week. They were two for one this week, I think. So that, let's check, take a look at the standings here. That puts us fifth in the league, or, or sixth, sorry, sixth in the league right now. Uh, we're tied with Carolina uh, for fifth. But, get this, Florida, Washington, Colorado, and Tampa are tied at 52 points in the league. Which means, if we win tomorrow's game, we take first place in the league. And then if we win on Monday, we get a nice two-point lead. Three but but it's it's been a great ride, honestly, and it was the greatest thing in history. The Leafs made history while playing that game. Yeah, we're for the most season because we've always yeah. sucked at shootouts. But this game was amazing. That this is why they need to keep the Canadian division alive. These rivalries oh, are sick. So they, this is tight to the nostrils here. Toronto, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Montreal, Vancouver, Calgary, and Ottawa. Ottawa is a bit, even though it's the Battle of Ontario, they kind of suck this season. So, but well, 28 points. Oh man. So the Leafs uh, next games. Let's see what the next games are. Next games. So the next game against Calgary, a two-game set. On yes. Sunday and Monday. Busy Easter weekend. 9 o'clock puck drop. Oh my god, these late games are killing me. I hate 9 o'clock puck drop for the Toronto Maple Leafs at Calgary. Calgary has been struggling, so good teams find a way. Now, who's going to be a net for Calgary? Because both of them have been doing bad. Don't we don't know. It's but a back to back. It's a back to back, fourth and fifth. Um, then on Monday, they go to Calgary. They stay in Calgary nine for a 9.30 puck drop. 9.30. 9.30 puck drop. This is going to be bad. This is going to be sick. Uh, yeah. It's a two-game clash, two-game so set. Maybe maybe we'll see Hutchinson on Sunday to give Campbell a break, and then Campbell back in on Monday. We or, don't or they'll continue Campbell for tomorrow, and then... Uh, start Hutchinson. I want to pick up. I want to pick up at least four points. I want to pick up the four possible yes. points here. That we will need really them, help us. We need them more than they do because they are struggling, what? and I want to capitalize on teams that are struggling. Mm -hmm. And they are obviously teams this is that an are struggling. Opportunity, and this is an opportunity to get some good points 
to keep a nice lead, get our first place lead back in the league, just like we had before our slump. Then on Wednesday, one team we haven't worse in a while, Montreal. Montreal. Yes. And this is going to be clash. This is going to be a clash. Be I want to see this in a playoff series. Right now, the Montreal Canadiens are sitting in fourth place, I'm pretty sure. Yes, if we look at the standings right here, they are basically, the way it's going to happen in the playoffs, first versus fourth, second versus third, that's how it's seen. This is going to be good. If we see a Montreal-Toronto series, we have not seen that since the 1990s. Yes. This is going to be great. I can't wait. Technically, it's very possible because Toronto is keeping a good lead. We're uh, four points ahead in the uh, ahead of Edmonton in first place in our division, and Montreal is sticking pretty safe uh, with fourth place because Vancouver is six points behind them. Yet Winnipeg is six points ahead of them. So there's six points in between third and fifth. So they got they can stick with four for a while. I'm hoping I'm hoping they don't struggle and that would be great to know. Vancouver is missing some games due to a major outbreak in their uh COVID. Yeah, they, they got, have a they COVID. They got situation. a bunch of uh players. They they confirmed the Brazilian variant in mm -hmm. their team. So they they're not going to be playing for a little bit. Not good, not what you like to see. But um other than that, other than that, we also got Battle of Ontario. Saturday, Ottawa Hockey Night in Canada. Yes. 7 p.m. puck drop there. I'm excited. And then we'll recap those four games next week. Next week. On our next episode of FLR. Yes. That's it for today's video, guys. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and if you could please leave that notification bell. Yes. On Rung. And yes, that would be keep great. Rung and subscribe. We're almost at 100. Very excited. And we thank and you so much for watching. Yes. And, and catch, check out check out our video at the card up here uh, okay. once it's out for WWDC 2021, which was announced by Apple. So check that video out once it's out. And we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Peace.